Um, I, I guess everybody in the, the coaching profession, I know for myself um, what Coach Pop has meant to us. And uh, just want to offer our condolences for his loss. And um, uh, Coach Michael Kenny, UConn Review. Uh, they go on a 19-0 run there in, yeah. the, in the third, but y'all were able to respond. Just, uh, what was the key? Well, I think um, as much as anything, our, I think our team stayed together. Um, and there was a timeout when there was just a determination. And I think we felt like we just needed to rely on our defense. And that's what we did. Um, Donovan, Donovan, obviously, um, his aggressiveness on the offensive end, um, you know, fueled us there. And, you know, that the combination of those two things, I think, you know, the, the determination on defense, I think, was a function of that run. And uh, we were really stagnant offensively. The ball wasn't moving. It was sticking. And, you know, when we do that, we have to, we have to defend. Coach Rod Zundel, KSL, you talk about your defense and determination on defense, but holding the big three to only two points in the fourth quarter, that's incredible. Well, that's, that's you know, I think that we've said the strength of our team is our team. And obviously we had some, some really good individual performances defensively, but you, you don't, um, you know, that doesn't happen unless collectively um, you're connected and you're defending as a unit. So, um, you know, obviously they were, they, those guys, you know, Carmelo had a stretch in the first half and the early second where he was really hard to guard. They can do that. Um, and game one, you know, was a different story. And, um, you know, sometimes you can play as, as well defensively as you, you know, you can. And those guys are so talented that they're going to score anyway. And tonight we were fortunate that some of the shots that they were hitting um, in game one or earlier, um, you know, weren't going in and, and we were getting the rebound. Coach Brady Trantham, Thunder Digest. Um, uh, Stephen Adams picks up two quick fouls in the first quarter, goes out about the 640 mark, and then is out of the game for 11 minutes. And then Derek Favors is able to pretty much feast on the offensive glass. Do you feel like that that was a, an, em an emphasis going into game two that you guys didn't have in game one? Well, Rudy was in foul trouble too. You know, so um, that, that those things happen in the game. And, you know, Jay, Jay Crowder picked up three fouls in the first half. So I think regardless of who's on the floor, um, you know, we have to defend. Rudy obviously anchors us. And I thought, you know, we felt like Derek offensively um, was really good in game one. And, you know, he was really good on the offensive glass, especially during that stretch. And, a couple times he had it, and he was going up strong, going up strong. He was just relentless. Coach, can you talk about uh, what, what Ricky meant uh, to you tonight, especially spacing the floor and, and yeah. just general overall effectiveness, well, effectiveness Rick, running the you know, offense? Ricky's really, really competitive. And I think the first game, he, he didn't feel like he played as well as he can. And you know, I remember sitting by him next, yesterday. He was watching film with, with Igor and just digging in on you know, not just, you know, offensively but defensively as well. And he did a great job, especially early in the game, you know, finding people on the floor and getting his you know, getting everybody involved and um, particularly in pick and roll, just making making reads that we didn't make in the first game. And when he does that, you know, he starts, you know, a chain on our offense that, that we need. You know, we're, we're gonna have to move it and guys are gonna have to drive it and kick it and share it um, for us to generate shots. And our guys know that, and they have to be committed to that. Um, did you feel that Donovan uh, was conserving energy at all, or was there any way you felt his play was affected by his injury? Um, it certainly wasn't apparent. You know, I think you know if he was feeling something, he didn't show it, um, and he played through it. As I said, I think the thing about Donovan's game. Um, is, is he just continued to attack. And I thought when, you know, when he really got aggressive going to the rim, you know, some other things open up. I, I don't know what he was from three, but, you know, during that stretch when we were getting stops, he was really aggressive attacking the basket. And, you know, that's what we need to do. To, you know, if we get stops, we have to try to take advantage and convert. We haven't been a great conversion team all year. Um, 
and that's something we talk about and work on. But um, Donovan, you know, Donovan converted. Coach, uh, do you consider it somewhat of a luxury that you, that you can have uh, segments in the in the game where Derek was great early, Ricky in, a, in the middle, uh, Donovan at the end? Is that kind of a luxury you got to have? I wouldn't call it a luxury as much as an identity. You know, I, I don't I don't think any one of those guys, um, you know, they all need each other and they all know that. So if one, one guy's, you know, making plays, I think sometimes we see the guy that's scoring. And with our group, there's usually a couple people that have done something previously, you know, to generate an opportunity. And... We stay committed to that. It's it's not easy because you know everybody's got to be unselfish and um, be willing to to attack on their teammate for their teammate. And you know that's been the balance we've had this year. And I think our guys um, identify with it. Okay. Last question. Oh. Um, just Rudy making those free throws. He's he struggled in the last couple games. Mm -hmm. What would you feel when you saw him step? I was glad he got to the line, you know, because either either many went strong to the basket and got fouled, um, or he got a defensive rebound. And you know, Rudy's Rudy believes in himself. Um, we believe in him. You know, it, it wasn't long ago that you know people were fouling him at the end of the game to put him on the line, um, and he's probably upset right now that he didn't make more of them. I, th I think um, you know when he gets it down there and. We come away with one of two or whatever. I mean, he takes great pride in that. He works on it. And I think our whole team, you know, has confidence in him when he steps to the line. Thanks, Coach. Okay.